Hagley Jr. swings a laser shot into left field. Hagerty's got the green light. K comes up throwing. Slide in time. He's safe. It's an RBI single for Tim Lyon. Otsu waved and missed that. And that's the third strikeout for Jake Coles. Fake the third and first. He picks off the runner at first and he's caught up. And the tag is going to be applied by Bowers before the runner crossed home plate. Stetson is in. One, one punch to the right side is bobbled by Lyons, the second baseman, and it trickles into right center field, scoring Harris's, and it's two to nothing, Eau Claire. Harris is at second, Bowers at first. Why swings, hits one into center, this one's gonna fall. Diaz Fernandez scores, Harris's will follow. It's a two run RBI single for Tim White. Trowbridge shut out the jet. One, two, fastball, swung on and missed. Smoke is up in the air. The train is staying in Eau Claire. Express win. Bittersweet experience because I love these guys. We have, I think, a great team atmosphere here. And uh, I just try to do my best and give us a chance to win. Well, chance of uh, winning, that you did. A 5-2 win. And, I mean, Jake, this is your first uh, start of the season. When it comes to you this past season at Pima Community College, you kind of did it all. You were a starter, closed out four games, had four complete games. Going to New Mexico this upcoming fall. And I know Dale Varsho, Express Field Manager, has wanted to shove you in that starting rotation all summer long. But unfortunately, of course, the innings limit or whatever you want to call it. I and mean, what is the plan this upcoming season for New Mexico? Is there one? There's, there's just a, kind of an idea where um, and they know I can start and they know I can save. So whatever the team needs, that's what I'm going to fit into. Um, I really don't care what I do. I just want to know that... I'm going to have a chance to compete for a job, and that's all you can ask for. Well, you're going to have a couple of New Mexico teammates, of course, Sam Haggerty, uh, playing for the Lobos this season. And uh, we're here with Jake Kohler, Marshfield Clinic player of the game. And, Jake, it wasn't all clean tonight, I guess you could say. Second inning, fourth inning, had runners on second and third, sixth inning, first and third. But the strikeouts came out huge for you today. The two runners in scoring position in the second with one out, then you struck out two consecutive batters. What were you able to do to get swing and misses tonight? Uh, surprisingly for me, I usually don't throw a lot of curveballs, and I usually set with my slider. And today, it just I don't know what it was, but I could flip that curveball out from probably the first inning to about the fifth, and it was a strike every time. So they had to adjust to that and then kept them from getting on my fastball. I didn't have my better velocity tonight but it was enough to where they respected the curveball to where they were late on the fastball and then they swung over the top of the curve and just kind of did it for me i mean with the curveball is that something that you feel out uh you know right before the game or was it something that you just made your way into while the game was in progress yeah just while the game was in progress uh i usually i maybe throw one curveball down the pen just to see what it feels like get out in the game i'll let them call it once or twice and if it if it's working well I'll set with it and go ahead and throw it when they call it, but if I don't like it, it's right to the right to the slider and change up. Jake Cole with us, our Marshfield Clinic player of the game, and Jake, Thunder Bay tied it up at 2-2 in the top of the eighth inning, and uh, I mean, what are your thoughts as a starting pitcher? Up here in the broadcast booth, it's this team's going to come back right now at this point. I mean, a lot of chatter in the dugout, a lot of feeling that the team was going to score again in the bottom of the eighth. Uh. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're a hot team right now. There's no doubt. Uh, with Tim Wise, 
Have Jose, you, heard him, you heard him recently? Oh, yeah, I heard of him recently. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Every time it's a big situation, he comes up big. And, you know, there was no doubt in my mind that we were going to come back and win that game. And like I said before, I just tried to do my best to give us a good start and give us a chance to win at the end of the game. And their, their pitcher did a great job, kept us off balance as well, and kept it to a close game and gave them a chance to come back. But I wouldn't take any other team than ours right now. Jake Cole with us. And, Jake, last question here for you. You've been here for a majority of the season. This game, number 59, so you only missed the last week and a half or so. Uh, I mean, what is one of the, the things that you're going to miss about being in Eau Claire? Would it be the fellows? I'm sure you'll miss the long bus rides too, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's an experience that I'll never be able to forget in my life. Um, we got great fans here in Eau Claire. They come out and support us every night. I mean, we had a rough couple of, a couple of weeks during the season, and they never, never faltered. And I'll miss the kids. I'll miss my host family. They're great people. I mean, putting us up there in their houses for three months, I'm sure it's got to be a little stressful at times. And but there, it's just it's a great atmosphere. And I wouldn't I wouldn't want to be anywhere else over the summer right now. Well, Jake, uh, it's been a pleasure being able to chat with you, and you have a great story behind you from high school being drafted by Texas, 24th round, North Carolina, shoulder injury, Pima, and now going to play Division I baseball in New Mexico. I know it's been a goal for you, so congratulations on that, and congratulations yes, on the uh, start tonight, and uh, I'm sure we'll be hearing from you in the near future. Thank you very much. It's been uh, a pleasure. That was Jake Cole, Marshfield Clinic player of the game. Eau Claire wins 5-2 over Thunder Bay. When we're back, wrap it all up from Carson Park on Mix 98.1 and iHeartRadio Station.